In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the resistor value in an LED circuit. So in this circuit, we're given the forward voltage of the LED. And that's 3 volts. And the recommended forward current is 50 milliamps. So based on these conditions, what is the value of R that should be used in the circuit shown below? So let's write down the potentials. Let's call this point A. Let's say this is point B and point C. We're going to say the potential at point A is zero because that's the ground. Point B is going to be nine volts based on this battery. Now, the forward voltage of the LED is three volts. So point C is at three volts. So now we have the voltage across the resistor. Now based on Ohm's law, we know that voltage is current times resistance. Dividing both sides by I, the resistance is voltage divided by the current. Now the voltage across the resistor is the potential difference between points B and C. So it's nine volts minus three volts. The nine volt potential is basically the source voltage, in this case, the battery's voltage. The three volt potential is based on the forward voltage drop of the LED. So for this particular circuit, V is gonna be the difference between VS and VF. Now the current that flows through the resistor is the same current that flows through the LED circuit because they're in series, and that's gonna be IF. So we have a current of IF flowing through R. So to calculate R, this is the formula that we need. It's going to be the source voltage minus the forward voltage of the LED divided by the forward current of the LED. So in this example, it's 9 volts minus 3 volts divided by 50 milliamps. Now we need to convert milliamps into amps. To convert milliamps to amps, you need to divide by 1,000. If you want to convert amps into milliamps, multiply by 1,000. So 50 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.05 amps. So we have 9 volts minus 3 volts, which is 6 volts. And then 6 divided by 0 0.05 gives us a resistor value of... 120 ohms. So this right here is the answer that we're looking for. Number two, the forward voltages of the LEDs are 3.6 volts and the recommended forward current is 30 milliamps. So go ahead and determine the value of R that should be used in this circuit. So let's write down what we know. So VF is 3.6 and IF is 30 milliamps. And we're assuming that each LED, all of the LEDs are identical. So let's label the points. We're gonna call this point A, B, C, D, and E. The potential at point A, we're gonna assign it a value of zero since that's the ground. E is gonna be at 12 volts based on the voltage of the battery. B is going to be at 3.6 volts because going from A to B, we cross one LED. C is going to be 3.6 volts higher than B. So 3.6 plus 3.6, that's 7.2. And the potential at D is going to be 7.2 plus 3.6, which is 10.8. So to calculate R, it's going to be the voltage across R divided by the current that's flowing through it. And we know that current is going to be IF. The voltage across R is the potential difference between points E and D. So the potential at point E is 12 volts. The potential at point D is 10.8. 
and the forward current is 30 milliamps, which if we divide that by 1,000, that's going to be 0 0.03 amps. So 12 minus 10.8 is 1.2 volts. So it's going to be 1.2 divided by 0 0.03. And so this is going to be 40 ohms. That is the resistor value that we need in this particular circuit. So now you know how to calculate the R value if you have a multiple LEDs in a series circuit. So let's move on to number three. So the forward voltages of each of the identical LEDs are four volts. And the recommended forward current is 20 milliamps. So with this circuit, we have three LEDs that are connected parallel to each other. So with this information, how can we calculate R? Now, because the three LEDs are parallel to each other, the voltage across them will be the same. So that's what's different here in this circuit. And we're going to assume that the current flowing through each of them will be 20 since they're identical. So we got 20 milliamps of current flowing through the first one, another 20 flowing through the second, and another 20 flowing through the third. So based on this, how much current is flowing through the resistor? The current that's flowing through the resistor has to be three times the value of IF. So it's going to be 60 milliamps of current. Now this is the ground. That's going to be at zero volts. Let's call this point A. This is going to be point B and point C. Point C is at 12 volts. Point B is going to be at 4 volts because the voltage across the LED is 4. So anywhere along this line, it's going to be 4 relative to A. So to calculate the resistor value, it's going to be the voltage across it divided by the current flowing through it. So the voltage across the resistor is going to be VC minus VB. It's the difference in those two potentials. And the current flowing through, excuse me, the current flowing through the resistor is 3 times IF because we have three LEDs, three identical LEDs in parallel. So now we can replace VC with VS. That is the voltage of the battery or the source voltage. VB is going to be VF. That is the forward voltage of the identical LEDs and then divided by three times the forward current. So the voltage of the battery, that's 12 volts, minus the forward voltage of the LED, that's 4, and then 3 times the forward current. So 12 minus 4 is 8, and 3 times 20 is 60, but we need to convert that to amps. So 60 milliamps, if you take 60 and divide it by 1,000, that's going to be 0 0.06. So we have 8 volts divided by 0 0.06 amps. So the resistor value that we need is 133 ohms. And so that is the resistor value that we need for this particular circuit. So if we use a resistor of 133 ohms, we're going to get approximately 20 milliamps flowing through each of these identical LED components. So that's basically it. So now you know how to calculate the resistor value in a circuit that has LEDs. Now for those of you who like this video, if you felt like you've learned a lot, uh, don't forget to like it, uh, throw some comments in there, and definitely subscribe to this channel. Thanks again for watching.